oh my goodness, like I needed one more reason to collect trash. This morning I was looking at some old images and I had a stack of boxes and papers and things that I was planning to bring out here to the workshop, you know, like to go in my trash journals. And the words just kind of floated through my mind, trashy paper dolls. And I just, I had to go ahead and print a sheet of things that might be usable still tweaking this and trying to get it just right so that I can put it on my website and you can just print it out. But let me show you the first paper doll. <laughs> I am so in love with her. So she's got her coffee cup and she's got her Cheez-Its hat that says original. Her ruffle came from a, don't tell anybody, a Bojangles wrapper. I had a ham biscuit this morning. Andy, if you're listening to that, I know you love it. And I had some iced tea. Uh, I don't do that all the time. I know it's likely that somebody would say that. Oh, I don't do that all the time. And yet I've got all this trash. But I cannot throw things out. And this is why. Look, she's got her coffee cup from... Wait. Right. I had a box with these little Taster's Choice packets in it. I love fresh coffee, but I do keep instant on hand. And Jason's mom, um, and of course the pandemic changed all of this, but she she kept things like this here for when she dropped in and you know if she was gonna take a cup home, if she was driving home in the evening or whatever and just wanted a, a cup of coffee to take with her, kind of stay awake, get rejuvenated or whatever. So I did have some of that on hand. And it's not that I'm trying to use her coffee up, but the expiration date is upon us. So I'm going to buy her some more. And I just ended up with the Taster's Choice box and, and there was this little coffee cup on there. Isn't it adorable? These things, so like her little pockets came from a subscription card, which I think is so cool. I'm, so I thought I would turn the camera on and show you how cute this paper doll tag turned out. I started to leave her as just a paper doll and we will make one of those so that we can see how they look as well. And you can see I added a little color to her face. I think she's awesome. She's got Cheez-It boots and a Cheez-It hat. And see, you could come back and add so many things to this. Um, we could put some bling on here. You know, we've already got our little things left from yesterday. So that would be, that would be pretty adorable. Yeah, I'm already seeing, seeing some things we might have to do. Hey, let's try this real quick. Oh yeah, now look at the Bojangles ruffle. So when that completely dries, I might come back with the sewing machine and stitch just in a couple of places to make sure it stays. Oh, I just love her. I love you. So there, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see what's going on and we will make a paper doll. A paper doll tag. Let's try her. I have a feeling I'm gonna like these vintage black and white the best. Using images that already have the arms makes it a lot easier, I think. Because if you have to start adding arms and hands, you know, that you could do it, but that would get tedious and take more time. And sometimes it's nice to have things already done so that it's an easy, quick project. But this, making it like a tag, look, you can journal on the back. That is just an adorable journal card. And can you imagine that as a gift tag? So you could just make some of these ahead and have them available for all sorts of things. I'm thinking after this, I'll probably never throw anything away again, which is kind of sad because I've been trying to clean out. So you can see I her arm was cut off in the ad itself. So we'll figure out a way around that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here so that we have that pretty curve. That would be great on top of a skirt. And I'm gonna get a little bit closer Oh my goodness, these are gonna be so much fun. Let me go through some of this trash and try to pick out some sort of outfit for her. Got some vanilla. So I used so many little pieces. This makes me not wanna throw away anything. 
feel like I have more trash in here somewhere. Oh, I knew I did. So, let's see. That is a pretty label. So that could be like an apron. Let's go ahead and put her right here at the top. And let's, let's get this shape around the, like around the corset. And we will, this is not gonna be as long as the dress. I feel sort of frantic, like, like I need to make a hundred of these. You know how when you find something new that you want to try? Sort of like the paper ruffles. And I had seen that so many times. It just was not calling to me. You know, sometimes things don't call to you the first time you see them. Now, let's just cut right across here and see. Okay, that's still a little bit right there and right there. Oh, yeah, that's so pretty. You know, these corsets are awesome because if they're truly going to be trashy paper dolls, being out with just a corset on, that, that would have been, like, criminal. And now you can go shopping for clothing and buy clothing that's meant to look like things like that. Crazy. All right, so we've got part of an apron. What do we want for a skirt? Or do I want it this way? Oh, yeah, maybe that's better. That's kind of fun to be able to see that. So let's go ahead and make this big enough to glue behind the apron and the skirt because it's going to make it more sturdy. Oh yeah, that's so cool. I need to cut the rest of this hand out. I wonder if we could make a hat for her that says not. Oh look, she's pointing, she's pointing at that. So that's one reason I ended up making a tag behind the first one because I really wanted this to have something sturdy to rest on. And this is one more reason I always keep pieces like this from when I cut down file folders. And I like some of my tags to be really primitive. You know, they don't have to be perfect. Let's leave it this long for now. And I think I'm going, going, going. I think I'm going to sew this into place. Should I? Or maybe not. I'm gonna glue it, cause it, it's gonna give me more control over where I place it. And then I could come back later and sew a button on it or something if I want to. And let's put, hello, let's put a little bit of glue in the back of her hand so it'll stay right there. And we'll leave that up for a minute because we might want to drape something across that arm. Who knows? And glue her down right here. Not too far down because she needs boots. And I'm sure we have something here that we could use to cut out some boots. So we'll make the other one a little more, um, more dainty or something. There, that works. This is kind of a big tag. It, it got out of control, but that's okay. We're just, we're having fun. We just discovered this and we just had to figure out what we want to do with it. But can you see the potential? Oh my goodness. See the words are so fun. That would make a pretty little tag. Look at that. You could put a paper doll right onto that. That's nice and heavy. Oh, that would be another cute apron. Let's make her some pockets. One can say beans and one can say franks. There, almost make it like the edge of her arm, like a shadow or something, so that we don't see that line and wonder what that's supposed to be. I like that better. We could write something on her too. 
So it says fashionable. And then she's pointing to the word not. I think we'll go ahead and glue this hand down. I love these. I'm going to keep practicing and see what I can come up with. And I'm also definitely going to save more trash every day, maybe forever. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. I upload regularly and I love that you're here. Thank you so much. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Bye for now.